Mm. Hey guys, mm. still out here checking one of the pastures. Mm. Drop mm. off some salt and mineral. Mm. Flies this year. Everyone looks good, no one's limping. Bulls look good. There's one there on that mineral top. There's the other one. Yeah, on to the next pasture. Come in and drop off mineral. Wasn't even paying attention. And, uh, I wanted to rotate them anyway. I guess they just come on their own. Must have thought I had some goodies. Anyway, <clears throat> bring it back in a bit. We'll make sure these calves figured out. Morning, guys. Next day, rotated four pastures, dropped off some mineral and salts. And... Yeah, everything's looking good. Hey, it's just thick. It's just hard putting it up right now. Won't stop raining. Got uh, about three quarters of a field here. Same one we're on in my previous video. I'm gonna go rake that up and bale it. And we're supposed to get another 25 to 30 millimeters on Monday. And then, well, plus it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Today's Saturday, the uh, oh, 16th of July. So, and it was a hot bastard yesterday cattle holy one pasture they were in the far corner and every watering hole or every slough on the way just they all stop I ended up swimming down here through the dugout to get the cows out of the out of the dugout but either way we got her so that's just uh Stopped at home, fed the dogs. I stayed at the camper last night down at uh, Boundary and set cruise this morning. So now we're heading over. It's 7 30 in the morning. We'll go rake all this hay up and uh, hopefully, some of it as soon as I'm done, I should be able to jump in the baler and uh, we'll just go down. So, bring you guys back in a bit. Morning guys, the next day after moving cows, it'll be the 16th year. Breaking away. Got to get this uh, raked up and bailed. Quite a bit. Open another 250 bailing or so, so this field. 
but it's between 350 and 400 for this quarter. That makes me happy. Yeah, we're calling for thunderstorms tomorrow and 25 or 30 millimeters on Monday. So I want to get this up and then bailed up. And then I guess we'll take a break. We're probably just going to go to the lake, hang out with the camper. So thick. Yeah, I'll bring you guys back after maybe when I'm bailing, hopefully in a boat. Oh, I got that much left. Hour and a bit. Talk to you then. Hey guys. Finish this field here. We're supposed to get one heck of a storm. I think there's tornado warnings everywhere. I just finished bailing. I was gonna get a video of bailing, and uh, I bailed yesterday until I got to some stuff that I cut a little later. And I had about 12 passes left here to bail today. And I was gonna video today, and I got here and I had net wrap issues, and it was all in the baler and all over the place. I think I put half a roll on one bale, and so that was fun. And by the time it started going, the clouds started rolling in, so I was giving her. And I had to pay attention because there's lots of gold for mounds out here. But we've got 335 bales, about 1,400 pound bales off of 140 acres, which is damn good for around here. And yeah, hopefully we're supposed to get 25 or 30 mils of rain tomorrow, they say. But uh, if not, we'll be cutting and uh, maybe make a big video there. Or um, see how many minutes I got stored up here. Maybe I might have to put one out here. But yeah, talk to you in a bit. Hey guys, how are you now? Well, it's plus 39 here today, it feels like with the humidity or something. We're supposed to get some storm radio saying anywhere between 20 to 50 mils. And yeah, so I'm not going to start a field, so I came with the roll machinery today. Even though we only did one field, but this all tuned up. Whatever sections need to change, change those. Uh, this guy's all good. I just freshly serviced him before this field. All the filters, oils, everything. Um, you really have to do anything to the rake. <clears throat> well, 2090 just runs year round. Or, season make sure no hoses are leaking or cylinders and it's usually good worst you ever really do is maybe lose a tooth or two and, uh, the baler um, and i'm just parking everything behind these tree rows just in case we do get this storm it's kind of out of the way and can't figure out this side's good this spring here oh, good you guys can see so it's just them two washers and then that pin, hammer and pin, um, holds a spring on. <laughs> that side's good. For some reason this side keeps coming off, but uh, I don't know, I put it back together. Maybe need a new pin, I don't know. The pin was halfway out today after I finished bailing last night before the storm. But, um, I don't know, grease the whole baler. Everything parked. Um, I really hope we don't get that much rain. So I'm going to sit here and not cut. We'll take some, take a half inch, maybe. We don't need two inches though. That'll shut us down for a few days. We're making ruts in the field. So, yeah, this field's all done. That's half of it. That stuff was laid down for two weeks. It didn't stop raining and then the big portion's out there. you back if not I'll probably try to post up a video later today I think talk to you guys later all right now guys um, I think it's coming I don't know if it's gonna hit me um, my buddy out of good water Wally Yuri he's on YouTube follow him too 
Uh, he's got some good instructional videos on some equipment. He's very good at working on stuff um, and different ways to feed and all that. But I thought I'd finish off the video with this. And you can see the lightning and stuff out there. So I'd be, oh, I'd be straight south of Wally. He's about 45 to 50 minutes away from me here. Um, I don't know, it's kind of clear here, but you never know. It's supposed to be maybe one rolling through at one in the morning yet or something like that. But uh, Yeah, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll try to throw up a video here. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one.